Yeah, Ashley, a New York state law says that any adoption center cannot discriminate against any couples that actually want to adopt a child. That actually threw a frenzy into the whole situation for Catholic Charities as a same-sex couple tried to adopt a child. After 95 years, Catholic Charities adoption program is coming to an end. We are working with the state and the county to transition out of these services. The decision to end the program came after a same-sex couple applied to adopt a child through Catholic Charities. And according to New York State anti-discrimination law, Catholic Charities could not turn them down for being gay. We were in conflict in doing so with the teaching of the Catholic Church as far as what the church recognizes as a, um, a marriage. So, after four weeks of deliberation, the decision was made. We've met with our uh, foster care parents earlier today to inform them of this and also of the process that will be involved to transition them to other organizations. On multiple occasions, Pope Francis has said the church accepts the LGBTQ community, but according to Catholic Charities, the Pope never said it extends to marriage. Marriage is only between a man and a woman and that it is to the advantage of the child to have both a father and a mother. Erie County has a contract with Catholic Charities to operate as an adoption facility. In response to the closure, Erie County said, quote, the Erie County Social Service Department is aware of the decision reached by Catholic Charities and will work with them to make the transition process as smooth as possible, a transition that Catholic Charities says will not hurt the children. So the children and the family will move together to another agency. Another agency, meaning new social workers. But according to Catholic Charities, they had no choice. We are very sad, uh, sad that um, uh, this is a decision that we had to make. That they are unsure exactly when the program will officially end, but it's going to have to end when their contract ends in March. Live in the studio tonight, Jeff Slauson, 7 Eyewitness News. All right.